Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing some of my favorite iPad tips and tricks. I have a lot to go through, so let's get straight into the video. You can lift an object out of the background and you can do this with a finger or with the Apple Pencil. And to do this, just long press on the object and then drag and drop it onto your page. And I use this feature all the time for digital planning and journaling. You can create a sticker out of an image or a photo and to do this you can just long press on the object and then tap on add sticker and you can see it's added that into your stickers panel and then you can also tap on add effect and here you have some different effects to choose from and then tap on done and now you can use that sticker in note taking apps and messages and to add it to a note you can just tap on a text box and then tap in it to bring up the keyboard and then tap on the emoji icon and then you can see your recently used stickers and you can also tap on this sticker icon to bring up the stickers panel. And then you can just tap on your sticker to add it to the page. The iPad has built-in background sound, which I use all the time when I'm digital planning or journaling. And to turn this on, you can just go into settings and then come down to accessibility and then go down to audio and visual and tap background sounds and then turn this on and then if you go into sounds you can then choose between different ones and then you can access it by swiping from the top and then tapping on this ear icon and then tap on background sound and here you can change the volume and also change the sound as well you can have your handwritten notes convert automatically into font. And to do this, just go to settings and go to Apple Pencil and then come down to scribble and make sure this is turned on. And inside note taking apps like GoodNotes and Notability, you can just tap on the text tool, tap anywhere on the page and handwrite and it will automatically convert into font. And you can also use this in search bars and elsewhere on your iPad. You can also delete text by scribbling through it. Here is a useful tip for customizing your iPad home screen. When you rotate your iPad, if you don't like the positioning of the widgets, you can simply rearrange it and the iPad will automatically remember the next time you rotate it. You can take a screenshot by swiping from the bottom left corner and you can do the same using the Apple Pencil. And then you can bring up the toolbar and here you have different pens and you can also tap in this color palette here and then tap on this color dropper icon and then this will allow you to choose any color from the screenshot and if you go to sliders this is the hex code of that color that i just picked and you can double tap on this and then tap on copy and then you can paste that hex code into note taking apps to make custom color pens if you want to learn how to start using your iPad in new creative ways, I recommend checking out Skillshare. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of creative classes. If you're not sure where to start, check out the learning paths, which are collections of hand-picked classes meant to be taken in order. So these are great for learning in a structured way. One of my favorite iPad apps is Procreate, and this is what I use to draw all of my digital planner stickers. I've always wanted to improve my drawing skills, so I have been following the Procreate Basics learning path, and I have learned a ton of new tips I didn't know before. Skillshare also has other great classes for the iPad like animation, lettering, how to make your own font or digital planner. The first 500 people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So go to the link in my description if you want to get inspired this year and level up your iPad creativity. You can also take a screenshot of a web page and then you can tap on full page and this turns the screenshot into the entire page. And you can use the tools included to take notes and annotate over the screenshot. You can also tap on the share icon at the top and then go to save to files to save that as a full page PDF document. You can stack images and files. So here I'm in Google images and you can long press on the image you want and then select all of the ones you want to save. And then you can just swipe and go to another app like your files and drop them all in there to save them all in one go. You can also stack multiple files together and this allows you to move and organize them more easily. 
You can also stack icons on your home screen. So just long press on one and choose all the ones you want to move. And this allows you to move them all in one go. You can switch between iPad home screens using focus mode. And I'm going to demonstrate that here. So I'm going to switch to planning focus and you can see the widgets and the icons have completely changed. To set this up, you want to have a couple of different lock screens and home screens to begin with. You can tap on the middle of the screen using a finger and this will allow you to switch between the different lock screens and you can also set up a new one by tapping on the plus icon at the end and you can pick from different photos or something from the gallery. And once you have the two different lock screens and home screens, you can swipe from the top and then tap on focus and then tap on new focus and then you can go to custom and then name your focus and you can choose a color and icon to go along with that and then tap on next and then tap on customize focus and here you can customize who is allowed to send you notifications and what apps are allowed to send you notifications for example, if you're setting up a study focus, maybe you only want to see note taking and productivity apps and you don't want to see any games or Netflix or anything that could distract you. And then you can tap on customize screens. So choose a lock screen and then you can browse through the different lock screens that you've set up. Tap on done and then tap on the home screen and you can choose a home screen as well. And now you can switch to your new focus by swiping from the top, tap on focus and then choose the one you want. And this will change the wallpaper as well as the widgets. You can swipe from the bottom right corner to bring up a quick note and you can use this to jot down something quickly or to make some notes. You can also use the lasso pen to select and drag notes into other apps. You can save web links into a quick note for accessing later. Just long press on the website and drag and drop it into your quick note. And when you tap on it, it will open up that website. If you find some web notes that you want to save, just select everything and then tap on new quick note. And this will add that text into a quick note. And when you tap it again, it will open up that web page and highlight the text that you saved. To see all of your notes, you can just tap into the notes app and this will show you all of your notes. You can also tap directly on the iPad screen to quickly open up a quick note. Hand gestures can help to speed up your workflow and you can just swipe from the bottom to see all of the different apps that you have open and you can also swipe left and right to see them. You can also use four fingers to switch between apps. And you can also switch between apps by swiping along this black bar at the bottom. You can use hand gestures to quickly undo and redo. Just take three fingers and swipe left to undo and right to redo. You can swipe down on the home screen to access Spotlight Search. And here you can search for apps and files. You can also drag a finger from the top to see your notifications and swipe up to go back to the home screen. If any of the gestures are not working for you, then you want to go to settings, go to multitasking and gestures, and just make sure these ones are switched on. Stage manager is a very useful feature for multitasking and to enable it, you can just swipe from the top and then tap on this icon here. And now you can see that you're able to resize the window. And if you also swipe your finger from this side, you can see the other apps that you have open and you can just long press on any of them and pull them into the screen. You can resize and reposition any of the windows and arrange them however you like. And when you're done with the window, you can just long press and drag it back into the side. It can also remember your workspace arrangement. So you can go into a different app and when you want to come back to that group, you can just tap on it and everything will be as you arranged it. You might already be familiar with the tapping on the three dots and opening up a split view. And you can also do this by dragging and dropping the app icon to the side of the iPad. And another way is to swipe up and drag and drop one app into the other. If you enjoyed this video, then you should also check out my other iPad videos, which I will link on the screen now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.